everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike Ferti Sim, and in this video I'm going to show you uh, how DLSS 3.7.2 is performing in VR in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Um, this version just came out, I think about two days ago, and I just had a chance to, uh, to set it up. I'm going to show you in this video my settings for um, DLSS 3.7.2 and how I run it in the sim in DLAA mode using preset E for DLSS and um, you need a program for that that's called DLSS Tweaker but for now this image what I get in the HP Reverb G2 is, uh, is really good so this video is especially very helpful for uh, people on a uh, mid-range computer like I have I'm running a 3080 and uh, with the uh, HP Reverb and I get a steady 30 frames per second uh, performance using the Riva tuner also and kept my frames at 30 frames per second but I will, uh, I will show you uh, my most important settings here now for uh, DLSS 3.72 in uh, DLSS Tweaker the next video that uh, will come out I will show you all my settings for the HP Reverb that I have so that video is especially for HP Reverb users uh, with a uh, mid-range computer so let's uh, Let's go into what I have set in DLSS Tweakers to get this uh, this performance here, and I will show you at the end my uh, my VR settings that I have in the sim as well. So you can copy them or tweak them uh, to your likings because well maybe you have a slightly better system or a slightly lower system, so you can tweak those settings. To benefit from the latest DLSS technology, you need to update your DLSS driver first. And there's an easy way to do that and that is with DLSS Swapper. So this DLSS Swapper is a very handy tool. And as you can see here now, I've just reverted back to the uh, default setting for Flight Simulator. And it uses DLSS 2.4.12.0. So you need to update this one. So the year you find all your games, I'll have only here a uh, flight simulator. To update to the latest driver, you have to download them from this side. You should go to the library. You see I already had 3.7.1 and I need to download 3.7.2. All I have to do is click here on the download button. It's downloaded now. Go back to my games folder, click on here, and then it says on the top 3.7.2, click that one, swap, and now it says 3.7.2 and everything is done. And then we just going to exit out of DLSS Swapper. Right, so in order to install uh, DLAA in the correct mode and with the correct preset, you need to download first the uh, DLSS Tweaks Config Tool, which you can find here on Nexus Mods. This here is Nexus Mods, and you just have to download the latest file here for the uh, DLSS Tweaks Config Tool. I will link uh, this website in the description below the video. And how to install it, you can uh, see that in one of my earlier videos. That's this one about DLSS Ultra Quality. That will show you how to install everything. And after you've done that, come back to this video and I'll show you how to uh, set up the DLSS Tweaks Config Tool for DLAA. For those of you who have already installed the DLSS Config Tool, make sure you're going to open this one from your uh, Flight Simulator content folder. It's the uh, configtool.exe. And start it as an administrator. Otherwise, you won't be allowed to save the uh, changes. So from here, we're going to set Force DLA to false. Override 
uh, auto exposure en sharpening to default. Um, override DLSS HUD default. Disable uh, develop, developer watermark false and verbose logging false. Then you go to the uh, DLSS quality levels. Enable is true. Ultra performance, those are already set. If you want to use ultra quality, set it to 0.85. You scroll down to DLSS presets. We're going to set the DLAA and all the other ones, all the other uh, levels, to preset E. Compatibility, resolution offset 0, dynamic resolution override is true, dynamic resolution minimum offset minus 1, and the other two are false. And below here, that's for something else. For non-DLSS tweak settings, you don't need those. Once you've changed all these settings, go up here, click save, and it will be saved the new ini file to your um, content folder. So when we start up the flight sim, we go to general options, go to graphics, and then to VR. We're going to choose for anti-aliasing the NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution. For the Super Resolution, we're going to choose DLAA. Apply about 50% sharpening. Reprojection mode is off. I have the world scale 110. That's, for me, that looks great. <laughs> Yours may be set to 100, but uh, I like 110. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. I set this one to off and in the um, OpenXR toolkit, I have that set to on. And down here you will find my other settings. I have my terrain level of detail on 95 or 100. Uh, off screen terrain pre-caching on high, high and then medium, medium for trees and grass and bushes. You see this object level of detail 100. Then the other ones else all set to high or medium volumetric clouds, texture resolution. This one is 16 times. You can also set it in the um, uh, NVIDIA control panel or the NVIDIA app. It doesn't matter if I change this one or what. It, it just works. Um, and well, you can see all my other settings here. There are some settings that are set to off. That's uh, the Raymarch reflection set to off. Light shafts are off. Bloom is on. Glass cockpit refresh rate is low. And the cube map reflections is 128. That's one of the lowest settings. Or was 96. That's okay. Don't set this one to hide it because that's a very hard hitter. And ambient inclusion is set to off. So those are my settings for VR. Just copy them and I will scroll slowly through them so you can screenshot them. <laughs> and after that, we're gonna jump back into VR and check the uh, OpenXR toolkit. Here are my OpenXR toolkit settings. You see for the performance, I've got the overlay where we can set the uh, frame rate counter. And target frame rate is off. Upscaling sharpening gas. Sharpness 31% or 30%, whatever you need. Uh, foveated rendering is off for me because, well, most of the time I'm recording. So I'm going to set that one to off. Otherwise, it will mess up my recording. Turbo mode is on. Frame rate throttling is off. Record statistic, no. High rate statistic, uh, no. And then we go to our appearance. Post processing is on. These are my color settings. Uh, that will give me some uh, more natural colors. Inputs uh, over production. Prediction reduction I set to minus 80. That's for me to get a very smooth experience in the sim when I'm moving my head and also for recording, of course. And then for the uh, system settings, override resolution set to yes. Display resolution per eye, it's 2200 by 2156, so I'm upscaling it a little bit. Motion reprojection is off. And here are the color gains for red, green, and blue. Field of view, just sim simple. 
adjustment is 100% zoom one blind eye none disable hand mask you can set this on no but then I get this so I'm gonna switch it back to yes so I can have a uh, good recording if you choose no it will give you a little more uh, performance for the headset and then this is the menu so we don't need that now but that's all for the layout of the menu okay guys so as you can see I'm getting a really good performance now in the sim DLAA preset E kept at 30 frames per second which you can do with a Riva tuner if you don't have that well just uh, make a, a Google search for the Riva tuner or I'll link that too in the description and then um, kept the sim at 30 fps so you don't have to do that in the OpenXR toolkit you can do that with the um, with the Riva tuner right so and that was it for this video uh, later this week I will upload another video which is very special for HP Reverb users uh, because you know that uh, Windows will update uh, later this year and then Windows Mixed Reality won't be supported and you probably also heard of the uh, maximum uh, <laughs> well the the Windows lock, uh, blue screen of that, what, which happened to a lot of uh, companies, airline, uh, airliners also, uh, due to a um, due to an update. <laughs> but uh, in this video, I will uh, show a very handy tool that, well, I think everyone, every window user should use. And but there are a few options in there which will uh, make sure that you can use your um, HP Reverb after the, uh, the next update of Windows is released, the 24 update, because you don't want to update to that one, because otherwise you're going to lose Windows Mixed Reality, it won't be supported anymore, and you can't use your uh, HP Reverb. Um, we'll go step by step uh, through that tool, how that works and there's some more performance to gain from that tool not really that much but every little bit helps all right good this was mike ferguson thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed this video I find it helpful please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel of course it will help uh, the channel grow more and um, encourage me to make more videos like this for you guys right this was mike ferguson and uh, See you in the next one. Bye.